We talked last week about all the economic data that we were going to see this week, and there was a lot, and it concluded on Friday morning with the jobs report in much better and much stronger than what we expected. We added 263,000 jobs. Jason, we expected 200,000. Yeah, it came in much stronger than expected. But what really surprised the market, I believe, is the hourly earnings, which continued to surprise to the upside. They grew at 5.1% versus an expectations of 4.6%. What's important there is that the last print was 4.9%. So the markets had anticipated that wage growth would start to roll over, right. but it continued to accelerate to the upside. And that's and that's an issue. So wages continue to increase at six-tenths of a percent. And that was double expectation, as Jason just said. And so that really puts the Fed in a predicament. We're all watching the news that came out this week. And in fact, Powell even made some comments about perhaps slowing down the rate increases this past week as well. Yeah, he continued to highlight that monetary policy works with a lag, and the amount of tightening that has gone into the system has been so substantial with back-to-back-to-back 75 basis point increases. Yeah, that's right. There's been six rate increases this year. You know, we started basically at zero with the Fed continuing to buy mortgage-backed securities all the way into March of this year, started to raise rates, and now the rates today that the Fed looks at are about 375 to 4%. What the market is suggesting is the terminal rate or the end rate which they're going to stop the rate raises is more about 5%. So even if we get 50 basis points in early December, and that will be dependent upon that CPI report we'll get the day before, even if we get 50 basis points, we still probably have more to go. And that's what the market is trying to digest, especially in light of a strong jobs report. And I know internally we've been debating the difference between a pause and a pivot, but the market is currently pricing and at least there will be a pause after December until May. And with respect to what Powell is looking for, he highlighted that the risk is that these wage increases become a self-fulfilling prophecy due to inflation in the economy. And he highlighted, I think it was underappreciated, that he was willing to tolerate lower demand for labor for a longer period of time, meaning higher unemployment going forward and muted GDP growth. Yeah, that's crazy. Think about that, Danny. You talk about supply and demand, and we often talk about that. So the supply of workers is low, but the demand from companies remains high. So that's just just pushing up wages and prices. Headline I saw said... The jobs number, good for workers, not great for the Fed. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah, Yeah, and and that's very observant. And, of course, when we look at that, what we're concerned about is will they continue to raise rates? And as rates go up, folks, it puts a lot of pressure on risk assets. We normally talk about risk assets as securities, uh, equities, and real estate. And the real estate market continues to be under pressure. I saw something this week which was really shocking to me in that 30-year home mortgage at 3% on an average house price came out to $1,349. But at 7%, it was $2,100. That equates to a 37% decrease in home prices. So you talk about all the inputs that the Fed is looking at. They are certainly trying to break the bubble of real estate. We know that wages are under control, and there's really not much they can do about food and energy. It's tough to be a Fed official right now. Agreed. I I don't envy them in this position. The dual mandate is really a killer. Yeah, that's right. So the dual mandate, of course, is two jobs. Keep inflation under control, or what's called price control. And number two is full employment. Their target, of course, is higher than what it is. That really means, folks, they want the unemployment rate to go up. Sounds counterintuitive, but that is the world we're living in. 